Another day, another story. Some processes in physics happen in the blink of an eye, while others happen in the blink of a photon. In 2023, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to three remarkable scientists who pioneered the field of ultrafast laser pulses. These groundbreaking researchers are Pierre Agostini from The Ohio State University, Ferenc Krausch from the Max Planck Institute of Quantum Optics in Garching, Germany, and Anne Lulier from Lund University in Sweden. Notably, Anne Lulier is only the fifth woman to ever receive the Nobel Prize in Physics, a testament to her remarkable contributions. These ultrafast laser pulses operate on an astonishing timescale, the atto second, which is a billionth of a billionth of a second. To put it in perspective, there are as many atto seconds in a single second as there have been seconds in the entire history of the universe. The Nobel Prize was awarded for their pioneering experimental methods that generate atto-second pulses of light, enabling the study of electron dynamics in matter. Eva Olson, the chair of the Nobel Committee for Physics, highlighted how atto-second science allows us to delve into fundamental questions. At the atomic level, the motions of electrons and nuclei occur on atto-second timescales. Just as early photographers used cameras to capture the galloping of horses too fast for the human eye, today's researchers aim to observe atomic processes with ultrafast lasers. Ultrafast processes, involving the conversion of photons into electrons, are intrinsic to vital mechanisms like photosynthesis and basic vision. The dream is to witness electrons in motion, a goal that is becoming more achievable with atto-second science. Atosecond scientists worldwide are elated by the Nobel Prize announcement, recognizing the immense contributions of the laureates. Keller emphasizes the well-deserved recognition of Anne Lulier, dispelling any notions of bias. To generate light pulses in such short durations, physicists had to overcome fundamental challenges. The shortest physically achievable optical laser pulse was still too long. The solution lay in producing light with shorter wavelengths. High harmonic generation, HHG, emerged as a key process, where electrons absorbed low-energy photons and emitted high-energy ones. Anne Lulier's groundbreaking discovery of a photon emission plateau in argon changed the game. HHG in argon involved a complex, three-step dance by electrons, resulting in atto second-scale flashes of light. Going from Lulier's work on HHG to a working atto second source required innovations in measuring pulse timings and generating isolated pulses. Traditional techniques like frequency resolved optical gating were unusable for atto second pulses. Agostini and Krausch developed techniques like rabbit and atto second streaking to characterize and control atto second pulses. These innovations now allow researchers to generate laser pulses of just a few dozen atto seconds. This precision promises to deepen our understanding of electron dynamics and revolutionize chemical control on unprecedented scales. Atto second physics also enables detailed exploration of phenomena like Einstein's photoelectric effect. It challenges conventional wisdom and sparks theoretical studies, pushing the boundaries of what we know. When notified of their Nobel Prize, Anne Lulier continued teaching, highlighting the importance of education. The 2023 Nobel Prize in Physics celebrates the pioneering work of these scientists, whose discoveries are unlocking the secrets of the universe on an atto-second timescale. Thanks for watching.